the just we begin and we do have the chair and by the way this deck i do not read reversals with i usually do with traditional tarot but with the big decks usually i don't know i'm called to do like this so we do have the chariot cancer energy and the moon this is pisces energy two major arcana two major transformations one about breaking free and one <clears throat> about the secrets of breaking free and the secrecy of breaking free and the fear um probably of detaching from something we'll see the moon and the queen of wands this is you we might be going through some uh, downtime uh, the moon is about anxiety depression and it's kind of the universe saying oh, we are going through a valley right now might be because of a another fire sign queen of wands is leo energy <coughs> And we do have the Eight of Wands, again, the energy of breaking free, of being free, the energy of movement, of passion, of changes. So probably somebody here wants to break free from a situation and start something new. But let's see. Bottom of the deck, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We do have the King of pentacles taurus Virgo, or capricorn a lot of energies and the four of swords the energy of peace of mind the energy of um planning and strategizing so this is your overall energy probably from a situation where a lot of people might be involved um probably a very um um you know cold energy around you in this situation you have one very nurturing energy and one very cold and in between we have the four of swords let's be smart about it and with the temperance let's take it slow uh, step by step step by step um let's take it in a moderate way beautiful major transformations though and mature of uh, people involved which is good um queen of swords she will be fair whatever the situation this is she will be fair and king of pentacles is the energy of nurturing and um, taking care and being the provider so it will be good now past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies let's have the current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's see the possible outcome and again i say the second week of june but can very well be um you know how time is fluid so whenever this resonates is yours and i love the ace of swords clarity of vision three of swords if it comes back we know it's yours so let's see Aries. i i i love this because it means you know exactly what you're about to do that's ace of swords you know exactly where the situation will will lead you know exactly um you know the outcome and the plan to succeed so Aries, you and this person on your side, we do have the judgment and we do have the six of cups, uh, probably an in and out um, relationship. We have you starting new, we have you ending and we have you in a rebirth kind of connection because we miss this person, we long for this person. So in the past, of course, you had this soulmate bond, tons of love, being reminiscent about this, um, this person and probably reconciling with them in the past because um kind of the, the energy of um the love was too big and it was sincere six of cups right it lasted it's the energy of people coming from the past so it lasted a while um brought your balance we do have the temperance as the overall energy right the first card out was temperance so that is something that is uh, moderate and balanced about this connection that probably um you enjoy right with the six of cups now the person you are dealing with Aries in the past they um, they came with the energy of the sun maybe a Leo and we do have the eight of wands a lot of passion a lot of movement maybe they had to travel you had to travel they had to change something in order uh, for this connection to be happy like the sun or you had to do but they came to the table with the energy of truth awakening awareness illumination happiness this is also um, kind of, um, you know, your person being happy because of you or, um, 
you know, you were there, happiness, and also with the eight of wands. Um, and we know it's a lot of energy of uh, beautiful communications, um, sensuality, playfulness, and uh, Cupid's arrows. Now, mutual energies in the past between the two of you, we do have the tower, a hell of an explosion, and we do have the six of pentacles. Um, it seemed to me like a fairy explosion, right? Um, and it's interesting because the tower is um, brought upon us to bring balance again to a life that was out of balance. So maybe this connection got out of balance at some point. Uh, or simply it was a sudden change, but it was meant to bring the Six of Pentacles energy. This is the energy of kindness, the energy of fairness, the energy of justice in Minor Arcana. So maybe that was this um, boom between the two of you, right? Well, um, my, it feels like a short um, kind of reconciliation, right? This is how it feels. Um, there was a rebirth, there were memories of love and happiness, and then boom, you know, out of nowhere. Um, and absolutely, it came to balance out something that was, um, that was strong. Now, Aries, where are we right now? We do have the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Well, now we know you love them like crazy. Ace of Pentacles is the energy of building something from scratch, is the energy of investment. Probably you see potential in this connection. Ace of Pentacles is putting down roots slowly, but we build um, <clears throat> kind of steady. And we have the soulmate connection with the Two of Cups. And you are so in love with this person. Six of Cups, Two of Cups. And of course can be the other person, but boy, we have emotions. We have desire to reconcile, to give them a second chance to start a new chapter. And uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, even invest kind of, you know, a lifetime of effort. Now, this person of yours, again, can be another fire sign like yourself. We do, we have them in the Page of Wands energy and the Two of Wands. Um, they are at crossroads. They might be passionate about um, ending a cycle and starting a new one. They might be, you know, Two of Wands shows up after the first, the um, Ace of Wands, the first card of the minor. Um, which is um, a fire being ignited in their belly. And then they find themselves at the crossroads. And this um, page of um, ones of yours can be your energy, but I'm more sensing that you are dealing with somebody um, with the sun and the page of ones quite passionate about something. Eight of ones is also the energy of work and projects and endeavors. And they might be focusing on work right now. They might be at crossroads regarding work or regarding something they want to do. Um, because ones are about passion and career. So they might really be focused right now on this. And um, and they have positive energies around them, um, Aries, if you are wondering. And positive energies towards you. So, Well, where are we right now between the two of you? We do have the King of Cups and we do have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands can be your energy, uh, being in love, being passionate. King of Wands can be your en King of Cups, sorry, can be your energy because it speaks of love, it speaks of passion, of emotions, mature um, emotions, something that we thought about and we start to have a plan about with the Ace of Swords. That is a lot, a lot of love in this connection and I would say passion too. And um, they are facing each other. That's interesting. King of Cups, Knight of um, Wands. They are coming towards each other. Kind of speaks of the energy between the two of you. And boy, you have so much love. And then they have so much fire. I'm sensing a distance, Aries. I'm sensing a distance while on your side. It's like you feel like going towards them. Six of Cups, Two of Cups is the energy of coming together. On their side, they might be... Um, um, I am sensing like burned by passion. That is a sense of passion. That is a sense of crossroads. It's like they need to do something and now it's the time for them to choose something. So, um, moving forward, of course, we do have the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. I love this fighting for stability. And this is the energy coming your way, this person of yours. Want to fight for stability, family, children, legacy, um, money, um, you know, um, the, the um, 
large family, right? Not just uh, you and this person. And uh, Knight of Wands, this is um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But it's more than that. I feel that um, they are a warrior, Aries, because this is energy coming your way or the outcome. Um, and we have them rushing in and offering stability. And um, maybe going back to the family, if you've been married, I'm not seeing marriage here, but maybe you've been married to this person. I'm seeing, though, a very strong soulmate bond. Now, this person of yours... Um, Aries, they do have, and then that's interesting, I'm going to show you something, okay? We do have the Page of Swords, which is the um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and they have the Devil. Um, you know, this is the energy of fear. This is the energy of, um, of being tempted, and we have them in the energy of communication. Um, we have them in the energy of the warrior, the, like the little one, right? Uh, the adventurous one. Um, that's a page of swords in traditional tarot and we have them with um, again the devil energy they might be fighting demons and um, what I want to show you is that you have them as the knight of swords and they show up in their own energy or the energy coming your coming their way in the energy of page right but it's the same sign so I would say they're coming your way but they might feel like a kid a little bit um, tormented by I'm sensing it is work and career. They have two energies here of work and career and that they might be obsessed with um, implementing something because we have the uh, Page of Swords and we know it's the Genius card, it's the Idea card. It's something that has to be pursued and uh, with the Devil they might be really obsessed, focused and not paying attention to anything else but this um, energy, you know? This is the energy of workaholic and uh, like somebody starting something and um, and doing just that, you know. But we have them wanting to fight for. We have them charging in towards you. Mutual energies between you and this person. Well, you are each other wish fulfillment, but we have you and them in the energy of the hermit. This is um, Virgo energy. I'm sensing wisdom. Uh, I'm sensing lessons. I'm sensing maturity, I'm sensing shining a light on a situation and realizing the realization of the Hermit is the Nine of Cups. You know that time together you've made each other happy and now it stood with you and it's, it um, um, stood with them. Um, and this is the aha moment for both of you. It is a big realization in this one. The Sun is a realization, Ace of Swords is a realization. Hermit is shining a light on a situation. And also the tower is a realization, okay? I'm not sensing it's a separation. I'm sensing it's a big coming together after a realization, an aha moment, an awakening of some sort. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. It is something about wisdom and wish fulfillment and making a decision based on love, wisdom and wish fulfillment. Beautiful. Now, um, Aries, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to know or do in regards to this connection. I'm going to take both of them. One is love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. So I'm sensing um, Aries, you are guided to love them um, and heal something from the past, right? Uh, for you and them. Then we have like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. It's interesting, it's kind of the universe saying you might have been cold at some point in time and um, and this connection found itself at crossroads and now you are really guided to make the difference and speak um, manifest love, right? And the last one we have, be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. Okay. So we do have this. Now let's have some guardian angels. Let's see what we we need to do in regards to this connection. And we have the Ten of Swords. There was betrayal between you and this person. So Aries, a situation that's been troubling you has come to an end and you can breathe a sigh of relief. With the challenging times behind you, 
you can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her addictions or codependency. And speaking of the devil, right? We do have the devil in their energy. So somebody in your environment, which might be them, is letting go of this codependency. We have bottom of the deck helper of action, which is the knight of wands can be your energy um, Aries. So you're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first, but you probably don't have time. So get busy, follow your instincts and have fun. You or someone you meet is very self-assured, capable and enthusiastic and can do anything with a smile. Beautiful. Now let's um, have some activation cards. Let's see what we need to get back into the flow. We have adversity, so absolutely, right? We are picking up the energy of um, of a situation that's on the rocks right now. Oh, hard rocks, not on the rocks like whiskey, right? I'm just saying, bumps in a road. So adversity, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So actually, yes, it's not an adversity, it is an opportunity to learn. So I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Surrender your belief in scarcity, um, Aries. Might be something about uh, money that you are concerned in regards to this connection. You might be, um, you know, they might have a, a financial problem. Maybe you have. We do have the King of Pentacles as the overall energy. So abundance is here. Somebody stable is here. This might be your energy being stable and moderate about money. So maybe the, you know, the universe is reminding you, come on, um, do not carry around, right? The mentality of, of, the, of the poor. So the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. We have peacefulness. You recognize that balance, kindness and love bring calmness to your soul. Peacefulness, right? You recognize that balance, kindness and love bring calmness to your soul. Beautiful. I love this. And trust. Trust, peacefulness is coming, right? You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. This is the attraction. This is what we need to bring back into, into the flow. Peacefulness and trust. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. And bottom of the deck, we have purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. So Aries, this does look like this, like a beautiful week of coming together, but also I believe that is, it's interesting. Um, adversity, peacefulness and trust right it might feel like you are in a in an adversity kind of moment but we do have here such a beautiful energy of peacefulness being at peace being at ease trust yourself and live with purpose i know what i'm here to do you know the clarity of the mind and we do have the ace of swords as the overall energy so you you, you simply know i know you love them and that is stability and um they may be going through transformation but you know what you're here to do. Um, so, and trust that peacefulness is coming, right? I don't know if you are worried about money, Aries. We do have surrender your belief in scarcity with peacefulness, you know, just be at peace and know that you'll have what it takes and what you need. So, um, Aries, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. I wanted to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.